What's up, guys? This is a divine masculine, divine feminine, un feminine union update for the sign of Aries. I did one for the collective, so if you are looking for a video for external partnerships, meaning you're looking to see where you are in your external, you know, your divine partnership with someone other than yourself, then watch that video that I um, I do dailies now. So I posted one today and yesterday. This is for when you are in a twin flame, when you are in a divine partnership or journey to a divine partnership, the first union is you with yourself. So I am going to start doing, and I am doing in this video, dailies for each signs or maybe weeklies for each signs, updating you on the process of unification with your inner your higher and your lower, lower self. Because before you become into a union, a very special, a very rare, a very divine partnership with someone else, you first need to partner up with yourself. You first need to become one with yourself. Before you can come one with someone else, you have to come one with yourself, especially in a divine partnership such as a twin flame relationship. So this video, this is to give you insight, Aries, into where you are in your personal journey to union with yourself. Spirit, this is the sign. This is for the sign of Aries. And we are interested. We are. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is the second time we've gotten miracles. So we have, at the bottom of the deck, we have joy, we have despondence and enlightenment and miracle at the bottom of the deck for the sign of Aries. As it pertains to you being where you are in your personal divine partnership with yourself, uh, let's clarify the joy card with some tarot, please. Spirit of Ashley, spirit of God, living inside of me. Let's clarify the joy. I'll take it. Whew, child, I swear, I just did a reading for someone I don't know personally, just checking on him, and a lot of these cards I got for him as well, that was the Queen of Pentacles, but you know, I'm going to keep the ones that I have, I have the Ten of Wands, I mean the Ten of Swords, we have the Joy card clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Five of uh, and the higher sign, two fives. See, this is looking a lot like the Libra reading. But anyway, I know someone, so I checked on him. You know where he is on his journey, and a lot of the I got some of these cards for him already. So I wonder if this is more end up reading, end up reading for him. Despondence, spirit, please clarify for Aries. The despondence card. That's about five cards. I don't know if I want to take all five of those cards. That's too many. Let's come on. Come on, spirit. Despondence. Please clarify despondence. It's still giving me a lot of cards, but I'm trying not to take so many. We have another 10. We have double completion already. Let's clarify enlightenment. Spirit, please clarify enlightenment for the sign of air. See, they're still trying to give me those cards. <sighs> Let's clarify enlightenment for the sign of Aries. Clarify the enlightenment for the sign of Aries. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You see how all these cards keep coming out? Like, why? Come on, spirit. I don't want that many cards. Let's clarify enlightenment for the sign of Aries. I know we are going through a lot in our journeys, and it could be a, a deeper message that you're trying to give me right now for the sign of Aries. I would love to keep this as big as possible. Okay. Hmm. A lot of these cards have been repeated um, for the Libra Union video with yourself and the Aries Union video. Yep. So, I showed you joy. We have despondence with the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Enlightenment with the Two of Wands. In the bottom of the deck energy, we have the Nine of Swords and we have Miracle. And we, 
Isn't it crazy how you tend to feel some kind of way before you get a miracle? It's like some sort of anxiety or some sort of mental anguish before, or, you know, the miracle. But it's also a test of faith. Before you get a miracle, it's usually a test of faith and obedience. Watch this. Um, let me read these cards, take some notes. See what spirit. Actually, this is double completion, too. Look, we got 10, 10, 10 because the joy card we got the 10 of swords and two fives, which is 10. And then the next, very next card is the 10 of pentacles 10, 10, 10, 3, 1, 1, 1, 3. But wow, this is dope. Let me look at these cards and I'll be right back. Aries. So I read your cards and the overall energy of the reading is the miracle and the nine of swords combination. Right under there is faith and page of pentacles. But with the miracles and nine of, oh, come on Ashley. Sheesh. With the miracle and nine of swords combination, this is basically exposing that you are in a battle and you're almost there. Let's say the battle has 10 innings. You're at the ninth inning. You're almost done. You know, you could be experiencing some sort of fatigue. You could just be tired of it all, but um, keep going. It reminds me of that saying with Harriet Tubman. If you, if you hear the dogs, keep going. If you see the torches, keep going. Um, if you hear shouting in the woods, keep going. Whatever you do, don't ever stop. Just keep going. And that's what it's about. Just keep going because why? A miracle is near. Your miracle is near. Um, and don't stop until you get there. Yeah, so keep going. Keep going. Then the first combination we have is the joy card. And we oh, I love this card. She's so stinking to me. She's so stinking cute. We have the joy card with the ten of swords. The five of wands and the hierophant. To me, that represents 10, 10. Five plus five is 10, and that's a 10. So it represents 10, 10. And what I'm getting from that is this is an ending for you. It could be a traumatic ending for you. Remember, the bottom of the deck is nine of swords. The next combination is starting with the 10 of swords, completion. So it's, you're almost done, but it could be a traumatic ending or a hurtful ending. You could be hurting, but joy comes in the morning. Pain, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Um, but 1010, the Dramatria, I looked that up because I'm like, what? You know, it could be, I look up 1010 a lot of times. I did a video about the number 1010. But this time I looked it up, man, what came up for the first time I saw music, musician. So this, you could be a musician or this could be about you you and your journey and your path to becoming the magician that you know you are. A musician. Musician. <laughs> musician. Not magician. I'm sorry. Musician. But also it could be about um, another thing was according to the order of music hat or something like that. And 1010 is also know a walk with God. So this could also be about, again, your walk with God with the hierophant there. Your walk becoming one with yourself. Your, your walk of becoming one with God. It's about being and aligning, your, aligning yourself with your destiny and your purpose and your reason for existence. So know that whatever it is, what conflict you're feeling, your internal turmoil. I believe, I don't even know that this conflict is external more than internal. You know, it just is probably pain and conflict and hurt from this traumatic ending or this sudden ending or whatever ending that you're going through right now. Um, I know you may be on the ninth phase of it or the ninth, you know, hour, but it's almost over. It's almost complete. And it may be, you may have conflicting emotions about it, but know that it's leading you to destiny and joy. Joy comes in the morning. This is a part of your destiny. This is a part of your walk with God. This is about you becoming the person that you were created to be and living in purpose. Then you have the despondence, ten of pentacles combination. Again, so this eludes me. This makes me feel like you have an emotional tie that no longer serving you. So this ending, this conflict, this ending... This ending in this conflict could be related to a person, place, or thing that's no longer serving you and you have to let it go. You're complacent. You're holding your codependent and complacent to something that's not serving you anymore. And it's time to let it go. Um, it's time to change how you view the situation. It's, it's time to remove those emotional ties and, and know that what's happening in this ending and is for your good. You have to let go of the things that are no longer serving you because... This new level that you're entering, this Ten of Pentacles, this new phase, this new, new new vibration, new life, new way of thinking, new way of handling things, new way of seeing things, new perception, new insight, new sight, this higher phase of life, 
they can't come with you. Whatever this person, place, or thing is, they cannot come with you. It cannot come with you. It's not on the same vibrational level as you, and it's not a part. It's it's no longer a part of your journey. It's a, it's part of your past, and it's time to let it go. Um, it says. You have to leave some things behind. You know what this, those things are. And if you don't know what those things are, you have to go within. But I feel like you know what those things are, which is why you're conflicted inside. Um, and this ending is potentially hurtful for you because you know what it is that you have to let go. And you have an emotional tie to it, but you just have to let it go. It's not for your good. It's um, What's happening is for your good. And I'm not saying that what you're letting go wasn't good for you at a certain point, but it's time to let it go or it's going to prevent you from entering purpose and destiny and your walk with God. And you don't want anything to get in between you and you becoming your higher self and the person in your union and the person you were created to be. Because being a, being the nine of swords and then the ten of swords here, you're very close to union. You're very close to union and one with yourself and one with God. You don't want anybody, any person, place, or thing to get in the way of that. And once that does, that's no longer a God thing that's a demonic thing because it's keeping you from being the person that you were created to be. This new phase of life that you're entering, it's new levels. There is no words for it. It's new levels. So change how you relate to the issue. Change how you see it. See it from a standpoint of joy. See it from a standpoint of a miracle, knowing that it's coming and you step out, take a leap of faith. Like the next card says, take this leap of faith. Ha have faith. Know that it's happening for your good, and, and what you let go, you'll get, it'll be even better once you let go. Even for the people, even for for everyone involved, it'll be a win-win for everyone involved. Then you have the Enlightenment, Two of Wands combination. And again, this is just alluding to aligning yourself with your vision, doing things and making a decision that aligns yourself with your vision for the future. It says, make an enlightened decision that's conducive to your vision for your future. This journey or circumstance is destiny, created to create something spectacular in your life. Your experience will guide others to the light and to, comple to completions and to new levels. So if you want to be aligned with your vision, if you want to um, be aligned with your purpose and your vision for the future and your vision for your life and you want to become that future, you want your current to turn into that future, you have to make enlightened decisions that leads you to that. And if that means leaving some things behind, you have to leave those things behind. Nothing should be so important that it prevents you from being the person you were created to be, prevents you from living in your vision, prevents you from your future, from new levels, from being one with God, from walking with God, from being God on earth, from being the person you were created to be. Nothing should get in between that. So make decisions that aligns yourself. Make enlightened decisions that align yourself with your vision and your future. Um, that is all I have for you, Aries. I really hope this helps and gives you some type of clarity and insight into your situation. But know that what's happening right now, these endings and new beginnings, is happening for your good. We may have one for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I wish you love. I wish you like. I wish you more life. Peace. 200000 dollars so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy, they help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace